Well, Paul Koenig is the CEO of Byronment, a Minneapolis-based wastewater processing innovator. He's part of the business delegation with President Trump in China, and he joins us now live from Beijing to discuss that big deal. Welcome to the show. Hi, thanks, Rochelle. Now, as a company with a front row seat to all these deals, including one that you snagged for your own company, what were you hoping to get out of this visit, and what's your take on the outcome? Well, I was hoping to accelerate deals, and uh, it worked like a charm. Uh, the first time I had ever been to China was in June on a U.S. trade mission. Uh, we had some matchmaking services set up by the U.S. Commercial Services. Uh, we li ultimately linked up with a Chinese uh, uh, the, M the Chinese Ministry Environmental Protection Platform, which uh, brings in U.S. or foreign technologies, of course, we're U.S., and uh, helps negotiate and finds uh, clients on the ground. And uh, we ended up uh, accelerating that deal specifically because of the, of the Trump uh, visit here to China. So what does it mean for you and your employees to be able to bring home a deal with China to the United States? Oh, it's absolutely fabulous. It puts us on, we're a small company, a small Minnesota company, and uh, we uh, have you know, smaller deals. Uh, we're working with the city of Houston on a fabulous deal, uh, working on some FEMA relief. Uh, we uh, went on a trade mission the year before uh, in Southeast Asia to get a deal in Vietnam, so it was interesting to hear your previous segment, uh, but nothing near, near this magnitude. Uh, it seems like you always have to add not one, not two, maybe three zeros behind uh, anything that you're doing in China, it's, it's, it's absolutely amazing. So given such a promising start that you're having there, where do you see your company's relationship with China going from here? Well, I, uh, it's, hard, it's hard not to, when you have a deal this big for a small company, it's hard not to focus on China and make it, our, make it the, the centerpiece of, of what we're doing. Uh, we've, we've got some fabulous uh, partners in Hanzhou Steel and the uh, uh, Shaoxing uh, Hanzhou area. Uh, of course, the ministry is uh, helping us tremendously. We they have a whole team of people helping us. And then uh, our friends in the in South China at uh, Guangdong, uh, Guanye Environmental Protection. Uh, they own 80 wastewater treatment facilities, and, and not to be forgotten is that they they signed a hundred million dollar deal um, on on the signing day as well. Now, how valuable is it for you and other business leaders to engage with each other in this type of forum and get a better understanding of each country's values? Oh, it, it's absolutely it, it's absolutely valuable. It's it's in fact it's priceless. Uh, you, you know, you, uh, if you just uh, read the news and you uh, and you just sit at home, uh, you have a uh, I, I guess I would say maybe even a tainted view of doing foreign trade abroad. But when you come over here. Uh, meet the people, uh, have dinner with them, spend some time. Um, you know, many of the Chinese people we're dealing with have been educated in the United States. They have their PhDs and master's degree uh, from Duke, from, I mean, from all, a number of fine institutions in the United States. Uh, it, it feels like you've never left home. Uh, you strip all that away and you find that they're people just, uh, you know, they're no different than us. Uh, for me specifically, um, hey, hey, who, who's against water? <laughs> who's against clean air? You know, n no one. They have the same needs, the same wants as we do. And uh, once you get by that initial uh, get to know each other phase, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's lights out and uh, we knocked it out of the park. So then what message would you give to other companies overseas and in the U.S. who want to engage with China but aren't really sure about it? Well, you know, there, there's a, a wide variety of underutilized services that are out there from the, uh, that, are, that are through the U.S. commercial services. Uh, hey, without them, I'm, I'm not sitting here. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not even close to it. In, in 10 years, I wouldn't be in this spot where I am right now. Uh, they tee it up. They know the market. They have uh, tons of uh, many, many, many valuable resources. These are experts. Uh, hey, there's experts that are, that are uh, involved in environmental protection. Uh, issues, waste and water and technology specific to what our company needs. And, and almost any U.S. company, of course, is going to have those specific uh, people that can, can uh, agents that can, uh, or officers that are, that'll, that'll work with them and, and show them the rope, show them the culture, uh, try to participate in a U.S. trade mission. Uh, it, it's fabulous. Uh, you, you got the mother, the mother hen is leading us around and all we got to do is follow like little ducks and, and, and meet and smile and prepare a couple of, uh, of a promotional documents, and, and, and then, of course, number one is you know, follow up and be sincere. 
uh, and, and take this very seriously. Uh, you got to bring your A game to China. And uh, what I thought was my A game was, uh, was probably about my C game. And uh, you got to raise it up a level because uh, it, it's serious business over here. And, and luckily we did. Well, thank you so much. We appreciate your insights. Paul Koenig, CEO of Vironment.